Be Tucker Carlson with an update on uh, coronavirus in New York City. I should call or go online for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Act now Sorry about the commercial. Off your purchase. Very few countries in the world lost more people to coronavirus than New York did, and no states lost more in the United States. How exactly did that happen? It's a question that needs a serious answer. Many people died. Finding out seems of no interest whatsoever to the press. They'd rather shame people for visiting the beach. Erin Marie Olszewski is a nurse. She spent almost a month working in New York's Elmhurst Hospital. That was the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the state. She was so shocked by what she saw that she began to collect undercover footage of what was happening around her. This patient is in with like a non-COVID. They don't, they don't understand why they're doing that. I know. There's four patients in a row here who yeah. are non-COVID. And this is supposed to be the COVID. Yeah. The seventh floor, they shut it down. That's right. And they're going to have non-COVID there. Yeah. This is going to be the only COVID. So they shouldn't put any non-COVIDs here. Yeah, that's what they've been doing. The guy over in 29, I had him upstairs. So I was on CCU before it. Yeah. And he came in with a, a, with a stroke. I know, that's what 26 one was, a stroke. And, and no COVID, COVID. and now he's got COVID, and he's on a vent. Because we gave it to him here. Erin Olszewski is the author of the forthcoming book, The Undercover Epicenter Nurse. She joins us tonight. Erin, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you for doing this. The insides of well, hospitals thank are you for having me. So tell us what we just saw. Explain the video we played, if you would. Um, well, this was a pretty common occurrence, and the video shows the COVID and non-COVID being housed in the same floor, um, sometimes in the same rooms, um, which is ultimately creating, you know, hospital-acquired infections of COVID. It's nosocomial infections. So, you know, people will be admitted without COVID, or, and they will end up getting COVID. Sometimes they'll be awaiting their tests, which would take anywhere from five to ten days, to see if they had COVID and be admitted to these floors while they waited. That just, I, I, that is shocking. And I'm just so glad that you got video of it. I mean, this was happening at the same time. The rest of us weren't allowed to go outside for fears that we would spread the coronavirus to one another. How could this happen in a hospital where people have weakened immune systems? Um, I, I like those answers. Um, I've been asking them and nobody seems to really have those answers. I don't know who the authority is. That's what I'm always referred to. Um, part of this, I think, came from Governor Cuomo's executive order that he did in, on March 23rd, 2020, um, you know, removing essentially all liability from all medical professionals, um, banning the hydroxychloroquine, um, not allowing family into these, you know, hospitals in order to advocate for their patients. So there's a lot of different things that um, happened that really created this problem. So interesting that you mentioned not allowing family in to advocate for their relatives. That was a factor in this, it sounds like. It's a huge factor, and that's what I'm having a really hard time with because nurses, we're supposed to be reporting, you know, anything that we see unethical. It's part of our job. And yes without family in the rooms we are the patient's eyes ears and everything we have to make sure that the patients are being treated properly um, anybody and, and you know any nurse or anyone that would question anything would be sent home i was one of them um, and nobody ever wanted any of this out and i you know it's all hearsay if you don't have proof. So I needed to get the proof so because it is so absolutely unbelievable that without it, you know, it, people couldn't even fathom this. I, I, think this is a, I think this is a scandal. I don't use that word lightly. You were sent home for complaining about a policy of putting COVID patients with people who weren't infected. That's shocking. Correct. For asking questions, they would tell us that, you know, be good, behave, um, don't ask any of these questions um, or you're going to be sent home and I have a recording of that as well um, you know I was there for just under a month so a lot of this is all well documented yeah it certainly is and if it wasn't no one would believe you so 
good for you. And thank Correct. you for coming on tonight, Erin. Congrats on the book. Well, thank you very much for having me, Tucker. Of course. Appreciate it. Thanks. Author J.K. Rowling is a highly aggressive progressive, has been for a long time. She might have thought that would protect her in the end. It's no protection because the famous author of Harry Potter